Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about process global area and user global area. So, so this is the overview that uh, we are right now. Uh, we are discussing about memory structure and essentially we are going to discuss about the content of this PGA here. So, in, in this video, we are going to deal with, you know, how to, you know, what are different things that uh, PGA consists of and how to manage PGA okay so here's a this thing uh, let's uh, PGA basically is the process uh, PGA stores process specific piece of memory so what does it mean so let's take a simple uh, example of a C program and this is a example C program where I have a variable int y and then I declare a pointer buffer and that I allocate a memory during the runtime and then I'm running in the while loop I'm keep printing this print hello world and then I'm incrementing y plus plus so whenever I'm going to run this program since it's a while loop is going to while true this block is going to run for forever right so essentially this is going to consume some memory on the machine that on which you are going to run and then how that uh, machine consumption the memory consumption is going to look like so this is going to look like very simple like we can visualize in this way that we have this is called code so that means you know this tokens of all those things will be stored here and then if we have any static data in which in this case we don't have so in the static data is going to be stored in a place called static data and then we have two areas this area is called stack so in stack we are going to have this variable y this and then if I have a, another variable you know p q or whatever so those things are going to be stored in the stack and then during the runtime whatever the memory that we are going to consume those memory is coming is going to come from another session that is called hip okay so essentially this buffer is going to be here and this buffer is going to be allocated during the runtime all right so this is what is you know this simple c program is going to can be visualized in a uh, like the how the memory consumption will happen on the machine similarly whenever we are uh, talking about oracle database server which is a program that is written in c so what happens let's say like you know here is a client so this client is going to connect to uh, uh, to the listener right and listener says that okay this server is running in a dedicated server mode then listener is going to fork a process called dedicated server process or let's say we call it ts and then the client is going to directly connect to the ts and these links are gone all right so what what is happening here is that whenever you're forking a dedicated server process this is basically nothing but you know these things could have written in a c but this is not as simple as i showed showed you here but this is a lot of complex data structure maybe yeah, in, included here and also we are going to allocate memory and all this thing depending on various different conditions all right but the point here is that this dedicated server process is going to have something a similar memory structure like what we discussed here in this a simple example right this structure is called the process specific piece of memory that means when there is a client c2 comes C2 is going to have his own dedicated server process that means it will have again another memory structure something like this but in a different memory area all right that means this you know let's say this is the memory of DS1 and then DS2 will have somewhere else okay that means this memory cannot be shared among the different processes okay and this is what is we called process global area or PGA so let's say we have three clients are connected to the Oracle database server so therefore the, the PGA will be PG, will, will be summation of this PGA 
plus this is the second process plus we have a third process ds3 so all these things combined together will form the pga or process global area all right so this is what is what all about pga and next thing that we're going to discuss about uga and uga is basically uga stores session information okay so let's write it down so uga stores session information so let's say what i do i i give an example i'm going to write a like let's say i have i have connected using client one and then client one is going to give a statement like this select star sorry so select star so let me write it here so let's say the user one is going to give a statement like this select star from emp order by name so in that case what's going to happen i need some space to sort the result right and that space is required and that space is counted as uga or user global area right see for example whenever we have client c1 c2 c3 let's say this guy is doing a you know uh, order by and this guy is doing a group by this order by and group by they need some memory either to sort or to compute the summarized result all right so so that is where I need some additional space, additional memory, and that is definitely not the PGA. So that is where UGA comes into picture. UGA is going to keep track of those things. And another thing, when you when you learn about PLSQL, let's say we are going to open a cursor, or we are going to, you know, fetch a cursor. So in that case, also I need some memory in my session, and those memory are come from UGA. And essentially, the UGA is going to uh, look like this so there are you know different um, you know major uh, parts of UGA one is called cursor area so cursor area essentially stores about uh, runtime information about the cursor like you know whenever the cursor name and basically whenever you say that you know say let's say you declare cursor C1 and whenever you open C1 so that is a time when you need something so that data will be fetched some, some memory where data fetched from the database is going to going to be there so those things are going to be in uh, in um, in the cursor area then when we are going to do a group by function or order by function we need sort area so this is the sort area that is the part of the uga then uh, for bitmap index creation we need bitmap area and also we need a bitmap area to merge those indexes and then if you want to do perform hash joins and all those things then you need a temporary space where you want to do hashing all right so essentially uga is going to have all these different things that i need for my session because of running different types of sql statements so now having having seen all this thing all the different things about pga uga so now how do i manage them okay so how do i manage means now what is the size of my sort area like you know how much how much area how much memory i'm going to allocate for my sorting right so there are two ways of uh, managing this thing okay so there are two ways of uh, management so one is manual another one is automatic okay so what I'm saying is that in manual mode I'm going to say what is the size of my sort area so there is a init dot aura parameter in the init dot aura parameter if I if I uh, assign sort underscore area to some value then that means whenever the sorting is going to happen up to that up to you know, let's say I assign sort value is 15 megabyte then whenever I'm going to sort my data if I need 16 megabyte then what is going to happen is that 15 megabyte is going to be here allocated from this uh, random access memory and then it will swap to the temporary table space that is the use of temporary table space that we have learned in our file system class that what we're going to do we are going to swap some of this data to the uh, temporary uh, you know to the, to, the, to the file system so this is how I'm going to you know manually going to give 
going to tune exactly how much memory is going to be taken for each of these different areas like you know I can set something for hashing I can set something for bitmap index area and then cursor area and so on this is sometimes is very tedious to set all these things and then maybe it's not that you know maybe that is not tuned properly so in that case what it, what, what oracles comes up with comes up with automatically managing this thing instead of saying that you know you know give this cursor area 15 MB sort area 30 MB so on why don't you give what is your total size of your PGA right so essentially this is what we are what we are talking about PGA and then by tuning a parameter called PGA underscore aggregate target so by setting this parameter called PGA aggregate target what we can do we can we can just set this one say 100 MB then based on your workload based on your type of SQL and all this thing Oracle is going to intelligently allocate memory for the small areas okay so this is probably the preferred method of tuning okay and then if you it's another parameter called SGA target if you set SGA target then what you are setting is you are setting how much is your total memory is going to be right as we know that you know the memory is consist of PGA and SGA so by setting SGA target we set everything we set what is the what is this value and what is this value so this is a higher level parameter so if you set SGA target then also you don't worry about how much your PGA will cons consume how much your SGA will consume all these things is going to automatically calculated from this parameter value called SGA target okay so this is how you're going to manage by even manage by either manually by setting up all this thing or by automatically setting up one parameter you know starting from Oracle 10G release 2 and above it is always recommended to go for this kind of thing again you need to test like you know it's not like that you know in a production system you just change this thing and then make it work that is how that doesn't work that way so you know your individual system is you know like you know you have to you have your own workload you have own hardware and then you have different things so just look what is work best for you by testing it so having said that this is the maximum num maximum value of this SGA target or PGA aggregate target but how much is being consumed right now it's not necessary that you know if you set this thing all things are going to consume so those things we can calculate right by uh, by you know those information like whenever this thing you know let, let's say I allocate sort area to 15 MB but whenever I'm doing select star from EMP which is just a order by ENM maybe just have 14 to 15 rows definitely 15 MB is not going to be used right so therefore what we can do how much memory being actually used those things is being stored on a dynamic performance table called V dollar says start so using V dollar says start if you query those to this uh, dynamic performance table then you can understand you can find what is the current amount of memory being used for short area or what is the current amount of memory being used for your PGA memory or UGA memory and so on so essentially what I have shown you this is the script that you can run to figure out how much is your PGA memory consumption at this point or how much is your session UGA memory consumption at this point so what I'm going to do I'm going to use three dynamic performance table start name session and set start so using three uh, you know dynamic uh, uh, in a V$ table I compute how much is the current one so I don't really want to go through the detail about those things I'm just going to write around this query on my system to show you how much is my current uh, memory consumption so just hold on one second so this is my my query and this is my server which I'm running right now and I'm going to run this program so it looks like my session UGA memory consumption right now is only 3 MB okay whereas PGA is just you know sorry sorry my uh, yeah so PGA is 7, 7 MB and then uh, my UGA is 3 MB so as you know PGA is a summation of different dedicated server process is running right now 
and then so like you know I if I if I query from my uh, so this is my Unix system if I do ps minus ef So these are the different, uh, you know, processes running right now. And as I told you, each process is going to take some memory on the heap, on the stack, and so on. So this is basically the combination of all this process, process memory stack is coming out to be, uh, in our previous thing, how much is coming out? It's coming out 7 MB. Okay. Whereas the session memory is right now, I'm probably not doing anything right now. I'm not doing any, you know, complex query or anything. So if I do those things, then this thing can you know it, it, it will it will increase so here is again so as it as you told you that this this is just example of pga but this pga can either be part of so uga this is sorry this is the uga what you're talking about this uga can be either part of the pga or it can be part of your um, of the sga in case of a dedicated server mode 